What up? It's your boy, Sir Tony, with another dream vlog. Yeah, again. Another dream vlog. Yeah, it's weird. All of a sudden, I can remember, still, well, again, remember my dreams. Usually, it's the other way around, like, when, you, when I sleep short, my, my sleep is short. I would remember my dreams, but now it seems to be flipped around. Now, I was able to sleep three days in a row, eight hours almost. So, now I can't remember my dreams. That's fucking weird, dude. But, cool, right? <laughs> I dreamt weird shit. Really weird shit. Well, not really. Wasn't messed up or anything, but... It was strange. Uh, first thing I dreamt, well, last night, I followed this lady and her name on YouTube is Miss Tamu. Tamu Gina Priestess Hartus 108. And she's a very spiritual lady. Yeah. And uh, she does like card readings and uh, rune stones and all kinds of stuff. Not really my cup of tea, but I really do enjoy what she brings to the table. And um, yeah. Yesterday I was interested uh, into one of her card readings. Maybe, yeah. I was interested maybe she should do some... Uh, some card reading for me and I was looking at her prices she got a website and the website had a bunch of text on it with the prices and what she all does and one of the things she had a picture of a altar uh, she also has a service uh, of making altars for other people now what it is I can't really say, but uh, I think it's a personal worshipping altar to worship yourself. That's what I'm feeling. Uh, maybe I need to look into that. Not that I want to make an altar though, but it ties in with the dream that I had. Yeah. Dream that I had, well, one of the dreams. Uh, I was here in my room. Yep, there's no bed in it, no beds, uh, there is five to six other people right there, I don't know who they were, but they were there, and I was making an altar right here where my bed is, this was away, and there was like a little table right here, but not big, really shallow table. And uh, there was stuff on there like stones or something. I don't know what it was. Props, props I should say. And uh, the thing that I was doing was altering a cloth that hang on the wall here. I was cutting it up to drape it perfectly on both sides. I don't know what it said. It said some words. I can't remember a image, but it was all red and drapes that I was cutting was white. And I was uh, messing up. So I was messing up. And the people that were in the room, that were in the room, they laughed at me, not like uh, to bring me down, but ch chuckled and uh, they were correcting me. Uh, I should do it perfectly. And also in that room, uh, I had a uh, weed, <laughs> that's right. Can't remember that I was smoking it, but yeah, I'm, I've been vaping lately and I had like a jar with super fine weed in it and it had a spout like this and uh, I was pouring it into my vape 
the juice already in it, so can't remember me smoking it, but I clearly plan can remember doing that, so yeah, pretty weird. And the floor, the floor adds puddles of water. Yeah. And I was complaining to the guys that the room was pretty uh, dirty. So. That's all I can remember from that part. Me making an altar. Yeah. I wish I knew what it was about. It was red. Red is my color, my favorite color. So maybe huh. I don't know. But the hours later I dreamt something else. It was really bizarre. I was uh in hallways. I was remote view style seeing this there was a little girl a little girl 11 12 years old and she looked very diseased she looked not overweight but she looked puffed up like really allergy puffed up and she had like red spots on her face and black circus around the eyes very yeah diseased she had a classic dress on 60s style she was walking through the hallways the the hallways looked metallic and i was as she was walking basically my sight was in front of her belly yeah and there were guys behind her but i never really could see them but i felt it I felt she was not alone so so uh, I was walking with her as I was aside from, as if my head was floating with her. You feel me? <laughs> and uh, then as I was seeing her, I was looking up at her face as she was walking. And then I could see above and it was like big round air pipes. And there was written text in it, on it in blood. Yeah. All the way that I, well, basically what I can, could see that moment was all written in blood. I don't know what the words said, but I think I got a name and the name was Victoria. I think. I'm not sure, but it was Victoria. So definitely something with Vic. So... Pretty creepy, right? But as she was walking, and I saw that after that, my vision turned in front of her where she was looking at. And she was looking at a BMX driver. And he was driving in the hallways, stunting, like popping wheelies and front wheelies and, and twisting the bike around. And there were doors in the hallway and he would open the doors with his BMX and this guy just had a super modern BMX it was unreal I don't think that exists in real life but it was yellow and blue yeah and the guy was an adult he also had a helmet on also something with yellow but I can't remember the other color so he was opening doors and we were going through rooms like bureaus yeah yeah bureaus and i don't know how many we went through i think three or four and then we came to a last door he opened the door with his bmx and it was a really big room with one desk and two chairs and behind it was a very big window and uh, outside you could see like this very overcast and uh, 
so he stepped off the BMX and then I could see even BMX had a LED screen on his uh, what the fuck steering wheel with blue uh, text on it it's really state of the art yeah he gets off he takes off his helmet he sits down this was a normal guy a blonde guy he sits down the girl sits down and uh, I remember this girl was very looking very diseased and uh, he was starting to explain a whole bunch of stuff to her and the only thing I caught up was well I can't remember I should say was uh, your disease is coming from your father and your father is Herman Brod and that's basically all I can remember from this yeah but Herman Brod well Brod he's a rock star from Holland a yeah method for sure he he's he died, I don't know, 2011 or something, or even sooner, I don't know. But he was pretty famous in uh, Holland, maybe America, maybe. I will link a video of one of his fav um, most famous songs. But yeah, in the dream, he said you were, she was the daughter of him, and that's why she was sick. Very weird, yeah. The girl was also re really weird. She, yeah, 11 years old, something, 11, 12. She looked like she was gonna die, yeah. Yeah, pretty weird. Oh yeah, in the room, I think those people that were with her, she, they were also in that last room, so. Hmm. Never got a good look at him. But, uh, yeah. Pretty weird. <laughs> that was a dream. Yeah, dreams. So, yeah. Tell me what you think. I don't know what to think, man. This felt like completely random stuff. But Herman Brod, holy shit, dude. Why? He used to do speed as well, I used to do that as well. Or more. I don't know. But tell me what you think. Okay? And maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs> Duck face. Duck you, man. Duck you. <laughs> Bye-bye.